Touchdown confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> Clash and Elizabeth Barrett, the Insight Instrument Operations Lead. So uh, ultimately, um, uh, it was an incredibly emotional experience um, to think about working for seven years, as many of the people here in the room have done, to get to the point where you have seven more minutes to survive, <laughs> literally survive, uh, is incredibly hard to describe. My heart was basically, I think, to stop beating for seven minutes. I don't know if that's healthy or not. but. Uh, <laughs> But then when we, we got the indication of parachute deployment, which was absolutely terrifying thing to think about, we got that positive. Deploy our seismometer or SICE to the surface. Uh, once that seismometer is down on the ground, we make sure it's in a good location, that it's working well, that we like its placement. And after that, we will return to the deck to grab our wind and thermal shield, or WTS, that goes on top of, the, top of the seismometer to protect it from the environment. So the wind and thermal shield is deployed directly on top of SICE to protect it. And you can see here, we're lifting it up. You see the skirt drop down. That's going to help protect SICE from the environment and being placed directly on top. Once we've deployed WTS successfully to the surface, then we return and we pick up our heat probe, or HP cubed. And we're gonna deploy HP cubed to the surface as well. And after we finish the deployment of all our instruments, making sure they're all in a good location, all in a good state, then it begins the last portion of the mission before we can actually do the full science return. We've got to do the penetration of the mole of HP cubed underground. <laughs>